I've got some insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into these trading methods, we got a couple different low budget filters for you to try out to help build your coins up. And as we're getting into these, make sure that you guys drop a follow on Twitch for all my daily live streams and then join the Discord as well for more trading tips. So first thing we're going to be looking at is one that I feel like a lot of people don't know about, but it started working recently, which is gold Premier League goalkeepers. So for whatever reason, with all these SBCs and whatnot, these gold Premier League goalkeepers have been really expensive. And you can see even all these common cards are currently selling for 1300 coins a piece. Now, obviously, these prices are going to change. We're going to get a lot of supply today with all the people saving packs and whatnot. So make sure you're checking the prices before you go ahead and snipe and bid on these. But if these are selling for 1300 I'm going to try and snipe and bid on these for about a 1,000 coins or less. And especially bidding is going to be the way to go because I feel like a lot of people just don't realize how how expensive these cards are. I feel like they just get listed on open bid and you can get some really good deals here. So I'll start out by just going through and bidding on a bunch of cards here. And then while I'm waiting for my bids, that's when I'm going to kind of do my sniping. Now, I find I found it kind of difficult to snipe these cards it hasn't been too easy and even when i'm going through and just looking at cards majority of the time gold common is going to be the cards you're picking up so you can just kind of focus on those as well but yeah i find it pretty easy to pick these cards up just because again it's a filter a lot of people don't know about it's just kind of started working recently because these have had a massive surge in price so definitely check this one out so we'll bid on those and then we'll jump over i want to see if we can hit one card here sniping if not, that's all right. Again, I find it pretty difficult just to snipe in general in this game with, with how prevalent sniping bots are now. Oh, especially when I'm doing stuff like that. But yeah, and then I'll just kind of keep up with my bids. So we'll see if we can get a couple cards on bid here and then we'll jump in to the next method here. So even when you're bidding, there's kind of another way you can go about it. Instead of sitting here trying to bid the lowest possible on all these cards, you could just right away just bid a thousand on all these and then try to list them up 1300 a piece. Even at 1300, you can win these guys 1100. You can see people are bidding 1100 a piece here. So you can play around with it, see what price you need to bid up to to kind of win these cards. Again, always going to change with what people are on, what they're bidding and things like that. But hopefully it won't be too difficult and you can get some good deals here. I want to see if I can win these for a thousand because selling at 1300, I'm only going to lose 65 on tax. So if I'm winning these at a thousand, I'm still making, what is that? I can't even think in my head, 265 coins a card there. You can see I'm going to win that Tim Cruel for 800, which is very nice so on that card, 500 coins, take out our 65 for tax. We're still, we're making 435 coins on that Tim Cruel alone, which is very, very nice. So we'll go ahead, we'll list him up and then we'll go ahead and jump into our next method here, which is going to be dealing with a lot of gold commons again here. So jumping in to that next one here, let's go ahead and just clear all those. So getting into this next one, we are going to jump over to the La Liga here. And we're again just going to be looking at gold La Liga defenders here. Now these are currently selling for 900 coins a piece. Let's check 950. Okay, these look like they're selling about a thousand coins a piece right now. A lot of supply at a thousand, so I'm going to call it 950. So at 950, I'd like to pick these up for 800 coins or less as I've been booted from Ultimate Team there. We'll get right back in. So when you're at like under a thousand coins that you're selling cards for you typically just want to pick them up for 150 coins under what you sell for so if i'm selling for 950 i want to pick these cards up for 800 a piece now these are up because we have a la liga section of the of the marquee matchups and we have two la liga teams in ucl marquee matchups so a lot of people just using those la liga cards to get sbcs done at the moment which is why those guys are up in price so again we want to go gold defender la liga here and then try to pick these up for like 800 or less here on bid and you can see here wow these were about to go for like 300 350 you can see there's a lot of deals coming through here that are worth having a look at so go ahead and just bid on every card we can here and see what we're able to pick up boom 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 i mean this is just ridiculous right now this is absolutely ridiculous so many cards to win a lot of people bidding though so you're gonna have to keep up with your bids pretty consistently and again you can do that method where you just kind of 
bump your bid up right away. So instead of bidding like 300, 400 on all these guys, I could just bid like 800 right away on all of them. And I wouldn't have to worry about doing this part where I kind of bid on all of them multiple times and things like that. So there's multiple ways you can go about bidding rather than just sitting here, you know, bidding 300, then someone bids 350, then you bid 400 and doing that over and over. There's other ways you can go about it, which I prefer to do. I prefer to just do that mass bidding method where you just kind of bump the bid up right away. Because you can see a lot of times it's not even worth spending the time just sitting there doing that. And then again, you can jump onto sniping if you've got the good internet and you're able to hit these snipes. It's definitely going to be worth it. They're going to pop up a lot. I just find it very, very difficult to pick those cards up. So worth having a look here. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.